Okay, so here we have the 12 new Terra Moons highlighters. And I set them up over here um, by most sparkly and impactful and colorful to more of like a traditional um, highlighter slash shimmer formula. I would say these five here are all going to be eyeshadow for my skin tone. Um, this is like a really pretty, uh, has like a sheer transparent base and it's like a lavender. Um, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of ums and ahs. I can't help it. I'm horrible at speaking on camera. That's why I never do it. Um, this one here, uh, Coral Horizon is like Terra Moon's answer to uh, NARS Orgasm. It's like a peachy orange, it's like a peachy coral um, with like a gold shift in it. It's very, very pretty. Sorry, my lighting is a little bit wild right now, but I'm doing the best I can. I, mean, I had to pull out my ring light because I have a, I have a window to my right here and it's, there's like a hurricane and I don't know. So anyways, this is like a really pretty shifty, uh, like pink to almost like a, a gold color. I can't quite um, put my finger on what I'm seeing in the pan. It almost looks gray. So I'd be curious to see how that translates on the eye. Let me see if I can adjust the light here a little bit better. I'm having trouble getting the light to... <laughs> oh, this is very pretty. This is... I can't read it. Uh, <laughs> I need glasses. Okay. This is just like a... It's like a rose gold. It's a beautiful rose gold. It's called Astral Allure. Very pretty. This would probably make a beautiful eyeshadow. Then we have Autumn Sunset. Very pretty. This is probably my favorite of the entire collection. This is like Terra Moon's answer to Urban Decay Space Cowboy. It is beautiful. It's so pretty. It's like a taupe with tons of silver and blue. It's called Halo of the Moon. I put it on my eye last night and it is absolutely stunning. Stunning. This is my second favorite luminescence and it's kind of like an iridescent multi-chrome. It almost looks whitish purple pink in the pan and it has tons of like a yellow gold green and little bits of like, like a blue, like a glowy blue. I used this on the cheek last night just to see what it looked like and it was so pretty it's so sparkly this is this is not for someone who doesn't like a sparkly highlighter this is super sparkly okay so i think i think what i'm gonna do actually is i'm just gonna do oh one of the coolest things about these compacts is they are magnetic so you can just take a magnetic tool and pop these out um however when you're trying to swatch see the pan moves <laughs> so that might be annoying for some people um I don't like it. Okay, so I'm just gently, I know it looks like I'm really going in, but I'm just gently rubbing my finger on this. Finger swatch. Looks like a pearl. So pretty. Okay, let's, I hope I'm in frame. Let's start here. Ooh, these are so soft and emollient. I was very surprised. Um, I am a longtime fan and customer of the brand and only just recently got PR from the brand uh, with their last collection. So this is Luminescence. So pretty. Let me try with the flash. Sorry, it might be a little shaky. Oh, in person, it is so sparkly. Like, oh my gosh, so pretty. Okay, next we have Halo of the Moon. Like I said, Terra Moon's answer to Urban Decay Space Cowboy. I'm just guessing though because I don't own it, but it's so soft and emollient. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, let's see if I'm in frame here. Oh my god. That's one swipe! Wow. So pretty. Oh my god. I know my camera is not going to do this justice. I already know. But it is so reflective and wet and sparkly. 
I know I, I'm so dramatic and over the top, but this is absolutely stunning. I cannot, <laughs> I just, it's so pretty. <laughs> okay, next we have Autumn Sunset. I hope I'm in frame. I can't really see. My, oh, what? What the heck? <gasps> Who is going to use this as a highlighter? Whoa. Wow. I, I, I can almost guarantee my camera is not doing this justice. It is straight foil. This reminds me of the, um, their shades like rubidium, palladium, um, cesium, moon kissed or moon lock, whatever that one is that uh, was discontinued. Wow. <gasps> okay, on to the next. Okay, next we have Astral Allure. It's like a beautiful pinky rose gold. The formula on these is so soft. It's it's emollient without being squishy. It's it's so beautiful. I, I, I don't. I'm I'm like blown away. I'm really blown away. I own some of the older Terra Moons highlighters and these are basically eyeshadow to me like these are absolutely stunning okay here we go I already know this is going to be super foiled oh it's a little flaky absolutely stunning though wow yep foiled rose gold very pretty wow 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 Okay, on to the next. Okay, this one is, I believe it's pronounced Amal Amalrea? Amal Amalrea? I don't know. I'm bad with these names. But it's just like a beautiful coppery pink. And this one's not as emollient as the first four that I did. So we'll see what happens. It almost looks like a multi-chrome. Okay, Amalrea. Oh, no. I gotta look that name. Whoa. Okay. That's a thick swan. Holy crap. We got some chunkage. We got some chunkage happening. Let's see if I could smooth this out. Wow. I, okay, I did not expect that. That one is chunky. It's got like, I think I probably picked up too much on my finger. Wow. Very pretty. It's like a pink to gold. It has like some copper undertones in it. And hopefully you guys can see it on this horrible camera. <laughs> I'm doing my best pretty very pretty definitely make like a very pretty eyeshadow and just so you guys can see I always swipe the excess on my hand so this is what we have on my hand and this is the arm so far that's it on to the next okay now we're on to Coral Horizon which I don't own uh, NARS Orgasm so I could be way off but it's it's got like that coral pinky coral gold shift and this is a much drier formula than the previous ones so i'm thinking it might be like a nice nice um blush topper or glowy blush or even just a highlighter i don't know i think it's called coral horizon something like that okay here we go i think i'm gonna um wipe these off after this set and then do the next set because it's going to be hard to swatch the rest on the rest of my arm from this angle <laughs> excuse me here we go yeah, this one's much, much drier. There's like a chunk there. Definitely are meant to be swatched with a brush. I mean, applied with a brush, not a finger. Super pretty. Very, very pretty. A pink, pinky coral gold flash. I hope you can see it. I'm trying to move my arm. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. Let me try to put on blush and see if that helps at all. Probably not. Here they all are. I'm trying not to bump the stand. I hope this is even remotely helpful. Here's my hand again. I'm just gonna put the last little bit right there. There we go. Okay. So that was the top. Top six. I'm gonna... There we go. Oh my lord. Oh my... Oh, so pretty, pretty. Okay. Okay, here we have 
Acrux. This is more like a traditional um, highlighter formula. Am I even in frame? Oh, Lord. <laughs> this is kind of dry. This reminds me a lot of the Coral Horizon one. Um, but it's pretty. I have sparkles all over me. All right, here we go. Very dry, smooth, traditional uh, highlighter formula for sure. It's like a pinky lavender color. Kind of shifty. Not sparkly at all, really. I hope can see it. Very pretty though. Okay. And that was Acrux. And then we have Lunar Vapor. This is very pretty. This this reminds me of like a really nice one and done eyeshadow. It's like a silvery taupe. I tried to wear it on one eye um, as a one and done, but it was just a little bit too, uh, I don't know the word, it would probably make a better um, like halo eye. It's very emollient. I think for me, for a highlighter, yeah, this is a little, I picked up way too much. So it's a little chonky. Oh boy, what did I do? Let me get that off there. Let's smooth this out. Yeah, there we go. Very pretty though. Very, very pretty. Like a traditional taupe. I'm trying to get my arm in here without bumping everything. Super pretty. There's almost something um, like a light lavender to it, even though there really isn't. It's mostly just a, a taupey shimmer. Um, very pretty, very reflective, and um, it's emollient, but not not really. It's just soft. It's very soft. Okay. Next up, we have Ursa, and it's like a smoky lavender. I don't know how else to describe it. Very pretty. This was the very first one I took out of the box, and I was like. Okay, these are eyeshadows for me. <laughs> They're way too dark for me to put on my face, but here's Ursa. Very pretty. If you like satin shades, like, perfect. This would be perfect as an outer corner deepening shade as, like, a satin. Very, very pretty. It's like a smoky lavender. Hopefully, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, hopefully you can see it. I'm trying not to use, like too much lighting I'm trying to like I have natural light coming from this direction and then a ring light over here so okay that's Ursa okay next up we have Halo and Halo I don't know how to describe it I, it's not quite silver it's not quite taupe it's not I guess like white gold white gold would be the the description because this one here um <laughs> lunar vapor is more silvery but with like a lavender undertone or to more taupey silver so this one is more of like a white it's not a gold gold it's like a white gold i guess that's yeah it reminds me of terra moon's uh i think it's cesium or maybe it's palladium i can't remember it's one of those but here we go the formula is is not quite dry but not quite emollient it's like a very nice middle of the road all of these on in this set have the same i definitely picked up too much again um, but that's literally one, like one, so I hope I'm in frame. Oh my God, I'm so bad at this. I'm so bad at this. Okay. Hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. <laughs> On to the next. Okay, next we have, I believe it says Denabella, Denabola. I, I, I don't know. I'm so sorry, but it's like a bronze. To me, this is like a... A definite it's it's not maybe not bronze I it's a bronzy color definitely like a brown 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 leaning bronze the formula feels just like the rest of these okay let me try to get my frame here we go very pretty okay here we go To the next last but not least we have amber sky definitely it's like a chocolate brown a bronzy chocolate brown definitely an eyeshadow for me and it feels just like this the rest of this set here we go 
Amber Sky. There we go. Very pretty. That's it. Amber Sky. Sorry. <laughs> There's like stuff in my way that I'm trying to avoid. Here we go. Okay. Let me try putting on the flash. See if this is helpful in any way. Lower the brightness so you can see. Okay. Okay, so my final thoughts. Um, I think the compacts are really cute. I love that they're magnetic. I never, I didn't show you guys how, they are a little difficult to open at first, but I think once they get worn in, and these are the uh, same size and shape as the blush lighters that came in the Cleona Dragon Fruit um, collection. Oh, hold on a second. Just notice the flash is on. Uh, but if you have any kind of uh, magnetic to potting tool, these come out very easily. I know I've said this before, but, well, on Instagram at least, <laughs> you cover the pan with your finger and go in from the side when you depot stuff with a magnetic tool, just so that, you know, you can try to prevent these shades from exploding. I know that a lot of people have been using those uh, magnet wands that you get off Amazon. You've got to be very careful. Those are extremely powerful, and you can end up with exploded eyeshadow if you're not careful. So, um, anyways, nice little magnetic compact. Shade name on the bottom of the pan. Um, my one complaint complaint is that the shade name was not on the bottom of the compact these stickers actually came on the boxes that the product came in and i peeled the stickers and put them all on the back these feel less like highlighters and more like beautiful satins i would say satins right shimmers and very impactful impactful super sparkly foily single eyeshadows in a 36 millimeter single compact these would probably be excellent for travel you know you just want to take like say a dark one uh a taupey one and then this one for your inner corner this might be a little bit too sparkly and pc for someone's inner corner um this is stunning this shade halo of the moon i cannot get over this shade I, it, my number one recommendation, if you're considering any of these and you like single shadows or you like sparkly wet effect shades, one and done, Halo of the Moon, 100%. It is so pretty. I really, I know I sound like I'm gushing and these were sent to me in PR by the brand and I, I really, truly appreciate it. Thank you so much if you watch this, which you probably won't, but yeah, I just, these are really cute and I'm glad that I got these sent to me and, uh, yeah. I'm not used to doing this kind of content, so I hope you found it in any way useful. Thank you so much if you watch. I appreciate you.